What's going on guys, Sachi is here and this is the first episode of my 10 to 1 Ultimate Team series where I will be starting from the bottom in Division 10 and working my way up to Division 1 and hopefully winning Division 1 as well and in this first episode I'm just going to be uh, doing all the manager tasks to try and get my free gold pack because who doesn't love free gold packs right? So yeah, th this uh, first task is just to change the name, so instead of using my FIFA 13 team name, which was Sachi Stars, I decided to uh, change it to the name of the series, 10 to 1, which would be quite fitting, and hopefully I can get a decent player from that gold pack, like I did in the packs I opened yesterday for the happy hour. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. I thought that was a decent pack opening, not the worse but obviously not the best it would have been obviously a lot better if we had gotten an informed player but um on my schedule for this series i'm probably going to be uploading an episode every other day so today is thursday i think yeah and i'll probably upload episode two on saturday so it allows me to upload you know um call of duty ghosts and battlefield campaign videos on like in between those days so tomorrow I'll, I'll upload the start of the campaign for both games so that is two two videos that will be uploaded tomorrow um as you can see i'm just giving my best player at the minute shinji kagawa a, a fitness item did i just give him a contract item as well um after yesterday's pack opening he technically isn't my best player my best player now is uh, Javi Martinez and I can actually say that right and I gave Gignac is that how you say it I don't know Gignac Gignac that sounds weird that doesn't sound right at all and I gave him a chemistry style item which was called the artist which is I think a decent uh, chemistry to style to put on to you know your attacking players I think that it, they will be pretty useful um, so yeah this is just kind of boring stuff really just you know changing items and all that but it's worth it in the end once you get a gold pack obviously not that much if you get a crap player which we'll uh, find out in the next episode obviously and back to what i was talking about about my schedule i'm gonna probably do like two or three matches in each video i think that would be uh, probably best and if i'm like a win away from winning a division i'll probably do a live commentary and hopefully uh win the division in that match i think that would be best for me because if i did a live commentary for every episode this this series would go on for absolute months absolute months um so yeah i had to buy some player i didn't have to buy some player i could have just you know bought maybe a, a kit or something because obviously i'm not going to play this guy anyway i stored him in my club um i'm actually trying to sell him but i find bronze item bronze yeah certain just bronze items in general are pretty difficult to sell but as you can see i've done 10 of the 13 tasks the only three remaining tasks are matches that you have to play so i have to ma uh, play a match in a tournament i have to play the team of the week so those two will be done in this episode and i need to play a seasons match which will, i will obviously do in my first match uh in division 10 so yeah as you can see that is my team i've got two silver players on the left because I haven't really, out of all the like packs I got and the gift packs, I didn't really get any, I didn't get any gold, like left back or left midfielder, so I thought they were pretty decent players. As you can see, the left midfielder will, is actually a pretty decent player. And as you can see, this team is actually pretty whack, if I say so myself. He's got two bronze players right in the middle of uh, midfields, and I think one of them was a centre-back. But yeah, I, I was all over this guy, pretty much. I'm not surprised. Right from the start, I was all over him. You know, with, like, what did he have? Like, 40 something chemistry? You're not going to win games with 40 something chemistry unless you're really good. And I do apologise about this epic, epic kind of fail of a sweat, because I nearly missed it as well, but luckily... I think that was Cissé, yeah it is Cissé with the goal there, but yeah that's pretty bad for me to sweat it like that, but if I have an opportunity to sweat, I'm going to sweat, and really the pressure just kept coming for him, you know I just opened up this, his defence just continuously, and I pretty much just passed it into the net there for 2-0 after 17 minutes, this guy 
was not going to win, I tell you that, because I actually dominated him throughout the whole game. And that is actually the silver player that, um, the silver left midfielder that actually scored there. He is actually a pretty decent player, seeing it as he's a silver player, to be honest. So, you know, I do keep him in my team for a few matches because he does actually pretty well. Um, so, yeah, half time, I'm 2 0 up, and I'm pretty much dominating him. And as you can see from the in game stats here, I'm just owning him. He hasn't even had a shot on target. Possession wise, even, but look at what I'm doing with the possession. It's ridiculous. And in the second half, it was just more of the same. Really, he had this shot here, and that was probably his best shot up until then, or probably his, like, what, his third shot of the whole match. And then towards the end, you know, Gignac, Jignac, whatever, came in uh, with the goal and started teaching some of my players how to tap a ball in, apparently. So, yeah, that was 3-0, but on Fever 13, I normally never kept a clean sheet, and as you can see, that was just really poor for me i probably just turned off the concentration and just ended up giving him a goal as you can see i absolutely owned him in that game he had one shot on target and that's where he scored it from but i had 13 shots on target moving on to obviously as you can see this is the team of the week which is pretty decent certainly in the midfield and i decided to go for professional just to try and make sure i won the game and get the coins because if I went for world class, I wouldn't be surprised if Bale and Robin just tear, tear me to shreds, to be honest. So yeah, in the beginning of this game, it was kind of like the last game. I was dominating the other team early on, you know, getting plenty of chances. Zacho nearly scoring there for me. Um, and here, Duff with a nice little ball right there. And Kagawa at the far post to, to head it in. And he looks really happy with that goal shaking his hand about and you know like I said I was just dominating him well dominating the computer you could say and I should really have really have scored there for 2-0 and I was kind of getting a little frustrated but I know I was in the lead but I just wanted to put this game to bed as soon as possible make sure I get my coins and make sure that you know obviously Robin Bale them lot don't get back into the game and score and then I fell asleep and Robin scored just to say that I was pretty pissed at that point because, like I said, I was dominating. As you, and you can see that I was dominating. And when I show you the stats, you'll see that I was definitely dominating there. I should have scored. Very unlucky. But to be honest, looking back on the match, you know, I've only had FIFA 14 for two days on the PS4. And I've adjusted pretty well to it. I'm playing some pretty good football. You know, I'm creating loads of chances. You know, when I started playing FIFA 13, it wasn't like that. I was struggling quite a bit. Second half, it was more of the same, really. That shot was really poor. I should have just levered it, really. That's my own fault. Towards the end of the game, another shot. Just, you know, that goalkeeper was just playing out of his skin. And now in the last minute, look at this. Raphael just completely messes up. And it ended up a draw. Pretty annoying that I didn't get the win, but, you know, these things happen. That is it for the video guys, in the next episode I will have 2 or 3 uh, Division 10 matches and the free pack as well. And like I said before, the in-game stats will show you how I should have won that match. But please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already guys and I will see you in episode 2.